Here it comes from the 444 RR Studios in Maryland. It's the Talk is Right, the only you cast with game shows, magic, and more. And now, here's the star of the Talk is Right, 444 RR. It's Friday, and it's time for the next episode of the Talk is Right, the weekly you cast with game shows, magic, and more. I'm your host, 444RR. Hope you all had a really good week. I have. Let's get into the news. I'm really excited. We got a lot of great stuff to talk about. First, the price is right. Mystery song for one for for, for one thing. Uh, Manuela is back. If you haven't followed uh, Price is Right on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, go do that because they posted um, pictures of Manuela back on the Price is Right set. Uh, so it's good to see her back. The only thing is we still don't know if Amber is going to be back. But glad to see Manuela uh, make her return to The Price is Right. Uh, she posted something on Twitter like three or four weeks ago about her, uh, um, it said, look where I'm shooting or something like, something to that effect. So it makes people think online that maybe she was filming a movie and that's why she was out for uh, the beginning of this season. And we also know Gwendolyn has made her return back because she was at the taping with Bob Barker, uh, the Bob Barker specials for his 90th birthday. And Rob Wilson has come back as the male model this year. So very, very soon we'll stop seeing the guest rotating models, which I'm really, really excited about. And another really exciting thing is Dream Car Week is this week coming up here on The Price is Right. Uh, contestants have a shot to win fabulous cars. And I'm talking fabulous, like million-dollar spectacular cars. Um, uh, that's how ridiculous the cars will be. So one game will be played each episode for an entire week. They're going to give away, try to give away one new fabulous car. A dream car, as they call it. So, very, very exciting to see Dream Car Week. I'm excited. I can't wait for that. It's going to be really, really cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, so it's going to be really cool. I don't know if they're going to be able to give away all five cars. I hope Mike Richards sets up the games so that they're not too hard. So, maybe contestants have a chance at maybe winning all five cars. But we will see. And uh, to coincide with that, CBS is also having Let's Make a Deal's sister show, I'm sorry, Price is Right's sister show, Let's Make a Deal, also give away some big money with doing uh, the Super Deal, the Super Deal Returns, where a contestant has a chance to win $50,000 in cash at the end of the show if they win their big deal of the day. So I'm really excited to see that. Can't wait. Going to be an exciting week on the Price is Right and on Let's Make a Deal. So set your DVRs for that. All right. And one of my other favorite game shows, Hollywood Game Night, makes its return for 2014. It's going to be returning for its summer run, like it like it was this year. They're going to do it just they're going to just do it just do a summer run, which I'm really excited about because they could have overplayed that and just kept making episodes to run throughout the entire year. And I'm glad they didn't. I'm glad it's only going to be a summer show. But if you like Hollywood Game Night as much as I do, and you want to see a special episode, tune in December 2nd to NBC. Because NBC has announced a special holiday edition of Jane Lynch hosted game show for December 2nd at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It gets a very coveted post The Voice time slot. Celebrities you'll see will be Ray Romano, Cheryl Hines, Gavin DeGraw, uh, 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 Rachel Bliston, Andy Roderick, and Brooklyn Decker will play various games with two civilian contestants to win up to $25,000 in cash and some money for their charities. So it's going to be very, very exciting. I love Hollywood Game Night. I think Jane Lynch does a phenomenal job as the host on that show. She's very good at the stand-up comedy, the improv, the quick thinking. and it, can, it shows in that. It really shows in that. So I love Jane Lynch. Great job to the whole Hollywood Game Night cast that you guys have um, been renewed for a second season. All right. And now this is going to make G classic, G classic game show fans very, very happy. GSN adds one new classic. Well, it's kind of classic, but more of the more modern classic. Uh, also, a uh, classic that has not been seen in a while and new to GSN episodes. So, The Chase, we're going to start with The Chase first, also remains in new runs at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on December 3rd and 10th after a one-week new run break on November 26th. They're not going to do any new, uh, it's going to be a little break there. So it's going to be very exciting to see The Chase. That's a great show. I love that one. Brooke Burns, she does she does all right as the host. At least she, she doesn't fumble the words, and she's she's kind of good. She's not the best game show host, but she's not bad either. So she's there's been definitely worse game show hosts. All right, let's talk about what GSN has picked up. 
So first of all, it's going to be new to GSN episodes of the syndicated show, Sale of the Century, hosted, of course, by, um, uh, that's going to be hosted, of course, by Jim Perry of Card Sharks fame. And GSN's also were acquired the Bill Collin Blockbusters show. So Blockbusters was a really great show. I like that one. So I'm glad to see that make it return. But the show GSN has picked up is a Lifetime. Then it switched over to PAX game show. And it's going to be Shop Till You Drop, hosted by Pat Flynn. One of my favorite modern stock, one of my favorite 90s um, game shows. Now, of course, a lot of my favorite 90s game shows came from Nickelodeon, like Double Dare, Legends of the Hidden Temple, Guts. But one of my favorite um, uh, 90s non-Nickelodeon game shows, Shop Till You Drop, where they go run around the big shopping mall, running up and down stairs, exchanging boxes. Really, really cool. By the way, I got to see Pat Flynn when Price is Right Live came to the Hollywood Casino at Charlestown Races. He was the host of that show. And he, he did a really good job as the host. So I like Pat Flynn. So very cool. So let me tell you the full change for the lineup. Uh, at 9 a.m., we're going to see Blockbusters hosted by Bill Collin. At 10 a.m. is going to be Sale of the Century with the new to GSN episodes. And I'm assuming at a, I don't have the lineup. So I'm assuming at 11 and 11.30, it's going to remain Password and Pyramid, I have a feeling. And then at 4 p.m. and 4.30 p.m. will be Shop Till You Drop, hosted by Pat Flynn with the new to GSN episodes. The Richard uh, Karn Family Feud moves to 5 and 5.30. And then at uh, 12 p.m. and 12.30 p.m., uh, Shop Till You Drop will air, but it's going to uh, rerun the, pre the episodes from the previous day. Except on December 2nd because that's going to uh, stay in the Richard Karn family feud, uh, just for December 2nd only. So, uh, and that whole lineup change starts on December 2nd. So I'm really, really excited to see Shop Till You Drop. And because they acquired Shop Till You Drop, you know, they need something to go alongside of Shop Till You Drop. Can you guess what it is? In my, in this host's opinion, they need Supermarket Sweep. It only makes sense to have Shop Till You Drop up against Supermarket Sweep right next to it. So maybe in the coming months we'll see Supermarket Sweep. It'd be exciting to see that make its return back to TV. So hopefully we'll see Supermarket Sweep on GSN. If they can acquire the PAX and Lifetime show Shop 2 Drop, why can't they acquire Supermarket Sweep? All right, one other game show news I want to talk about. I talked about this, I think it was two weeks ago. I talked about Disney XD, which is Disney's Teenage Boy Station. Basically, it's a uh, branch of Disney where its target audience is boys, like 10 to 15 kind of thing. And they have shows like Mighty Med. They used to have a show called Zeke and Luther. They have Lab Rats. Uh, kicking it. As you see, I watch that station a lot. No, I know some of the shows on there, though. Uh, but anyways, they have a brand new game show on there called Japanesey Going, Going, Gone. That is exactly how they do every time they say it. But anyways, it's a uh, show where these kid contestants, sometimes one kid and one a family member, uh, go to be on a game show. The catch is... They don't know they're on a Japanese game show until they get there. Which, I, that is, in my opinion, I'll get to that in a moment. And then they play through these very physical uh, style games. If you've ever seen a Japanese game show on YouTube, not Hole in the Wall, but like any other Japanese game show, they do these most ridiculous challenges. Like one of them the other night was they were dressed up as babies, tied together. So they're, they're basically Siamese twin babies. And they had to use their teeth to pick up pacifiers in a bowl, walk across this platform that was moving, and then drop them into the crib on the other side. And they get one point for each time they drop a uh, pacifier in there. And the team who has the least amount of pacifiers gets eliminated. Um, or, yeah, dear husband, yeah, eliminated. Uh, one thing is, I'm going to give my full review on this show. It's a very hilarious show. Uh, the host is a famous game show, or a famous video game character's name. Uh, the host's name is Yoshi. I'm not making this up. His name is Yoshi. Go watch this. This this, uh, this show, Japanesey, Going, Going, Gone, is 7.30 on um, Disney XD. But uh, Yoshi's the host, and... Um, so you have four teams of two kid contestants. And they do all these outrageous challenges. 
Uh, first of all, Yoshi says Shh, they don't know they're not. They don't know they're on a Japanese game show. Really? I mean, so when they go to be a contestant, they go to fill out the application. What does it say on there? Be on a game show? I mean, they got to know somehow they're on a Japanese game show. They they cannot know. It's about. I don't know. I mean, is the name of this show called Going Going Gone on the application? Because if if they had the word Japanesey, it's like. The gives what it, I, I don't know. Anyways, that's the worst gimmick on the whole show, in my opinion. Uh, they the host cannot speak very much English, I don't think, because the explanation to all the games, the rules and the explanation are done by this ninja, and uh, he stands off to the side and he speaks perfect perfect English, which I can't do tonight. He speaks perfect English and he uh, t uh, explains all the rules of the game. Then they have Judge Messiah. And he is the judge, and he does all the official ruling of the game show. Now, the winners of this game show, whoever wins, they get the impossibly large trophy! Oh my god, I just offended some people there, probably. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I probably offended half of my audience there. Uh, anyways, that was terrible of me. Oh my gosh. But anyways, they win an impossibly large trophy. And uh, when they first talk about the trophy, it's, it, it's this animation of this trophy rising up against all these other uh, big things like dinosaurs and landmarks. It's weird. And some of the things, I love the show overall. I have to give it probably an 8 out of 10. It's a great show. It's fun to watch. Some of the things, that, uh, some of the games are really, really weird. Like, there's, if they end in a tie, there's this one game where they have to carry fish across this moving, this slippery platform that has, like, soap and everything on it, and they have to drop it. And if they get a tie, they say, okay, we have a tie. The team that has the least amount of speckled fish, or whatever it is, uh, gets eliminated. And to me, it's like, shouldn't it be the team that has the most gets eliminated? And there's one game where it's called Cutting, Ties! That's exactly how Yoshi does it when he says cutting ties. Uh, but anyways, uh, they have to cut these ropes, and if you and it's like a dunk tank. One of the one of the uh, uh, cords they cut makes your partner fall, and if your partner falls, uh, you lose. Or no, you you get a if your partner is yeah falls, you lose. Yeah. Anyways, it seems weird though because you should want your partner to dunk. And that should be mean. That should mean you're the winners. Versus if your partner falls, they lose. It, some of the rules that when you watch it, you're like, well, why should it be like that? It should be the other way. The team with the most speckled fish loses. But anyways, but it's a really great show. Definitely watch Japanesey going going gone on Disney XD. I, one of my favorite uh, kids game shows in a long time. So definitely go check that out. All right. Speaking of kids game shows, by the way, uh, Jeff Sudfin the host of Brain Surge and the revival of Figure It Out, has his own talk show. It's called Jeff Sudpin's Garage Show. If you haven't seen this, definitely go check it out because uh, he, on his first episode, had Tony Hawk. On his second episode, he had three former Nickelodeon game show hosts on. He had Phil Moore of uh, You're On and Nick Arcade. He had Kirk Fogg from Legends of the Hidden Temple. And, excuse me, Mark Summers from Double Dare. Well, the, this is actually a great segue because uh, this new episode he just posted a couple days ago, and you can go to Jeff Sudpin's YouTube channel. It's it's just Jeff Sudpin. You can go to his YouTube channel, posted a new uh, uh, Jeff Sudpin's Garage Show where he had AGT, America's Got Talent, magician Murray Sawshank on. And it was very cool to see Murray. He talked about his show. He had his assistant on and one of his magical producers uh, on as well. They talked about magic. Very cool. And Jeff Sudfin actually, I guess, does a little bit of magic. I did not know this because he actually knows how to do the one-handed Chalazé cut. And there's a bonus video to see who does the most one-handed cuts in one minute. So it's very cool to see Jeff Sudfin do the one-handed cut. Very, very cool. So that was a little segue into the magic. Well, see, it kind of went from game shows to magic. Isn't that kind of cool? I love how that, kind of had it. I love how that came up this week. And uh, Also, uh, I was trying to transition, but I forgot one other thing about Price is Right. Drew Carey now has a YouTube channel. Definitely go check out his YouTube channel. He posted a time-lapse video of a day in the life of the Price is Right, kind of behind-the-scenes video. So go check that out. It's really, really cool. It's cool to see it all time-lapsed. All right. And now two more magic-related segments. Uh... David Blaine's new show, Real or Magic, premieres in just a couple couple weeks. 
couple weeks. And David Blaine is going to promote that new show this Tuesday at 9.30. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, the special airs this Tuesday at 9.30. Oh, man, I, I'm reading my script here, and I, I so screwed that up. It airs this Tuesday. Uh, but David Blaine stopped by Jimmy Kimmel Live to promote his new special. And um, he, uh, David Blaine mentioned a few names that are not in the promo video that he that he uh, does magic for, including George W. Bush and Harrison Ford. But he also messes with Jimmy Kimmel's head doing some magic. So definitely go check that out. There's two videos on YouTube under Jimmy Kimmel's uh, YouTube channel where he does some magic. So go check that out. It's really really cool. And definitely watch the new uh, David Blaine magic special. This Tuesday at 9.30. It's going to be very, very cool. All right. And that premieres right after one of my favorite shows on ABC, The Goldbergs. Uh, definitely check that show out, too. That's a very hilarious show about life in the 80s for Adam Goldberg. Created by Adam Goldberg. It's basically how his life was in the 80s. So go check that out because it's a really hilarious show. All right. So uh, one other piece of magic-related news. This is very, very exciting. If you want to get Bill Malone's... Uh, on the loose, you can get it for a very, very, very special price from murphysmagic.com slash, or just go to Murphy's Magic and it's right there on the homepage. You can get all four titles of Bill Malone's On the Loose for an, a steal of only $39.95. This is a great price for all four DVDs because all four DVDs will run you about $120. So you're, it's a savings of $99.85 if you purchase all four. And you will learn such crowd pleasers as Twisted Flush, Counterfeit Money, uh, Bill Malone's version of Bill and Lemon, Ultimate Three Card Monty, Sam the Bellhop, and uh, End of Story. Some really amazing tricks on there. It is definitely worth a look at if you want to get it because you're going to learn some really amazing magic on there. So definitely go check that out. And if you're a magician and you you like a lot of the Bill Malone effects, you may be seeing some of the demos on online, some of the videos of Bill Malone. It's a steal to get this. I got mine from uh, a magic website. I got mine from Elmwood Magic because that was the only place I found that actually sold it. Uh, magic Geek that doesn't sell the Bill Malone videos, so I couldn't buy them. So I bought them off Elmwood for a hundred, like over a hundred dollars. But I wanted them because I love Bill Malone, so I got them for. Retail, this is a steal. Go get this, these Bill Malone DVDs. All right, so that's all I have for this week for The Talk is Right. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's Talk is Right. And we're coming up very soon on Thanksgiving, and we're definitely going to have a Thanksgiving episode of The Talk is Right. Let's see. Uh, that'll be next week's episode. It'll be our special Thanksgiving episode. We'll have, we'll have a Thanksgiving uh, uh, logo and all that really cool stuff, and we'll talk about Thanksgiving next week. So hope you guys enjoy your week. Have a safe and a very exciting week, and I'll see you next week for more game shows, magic, and more. Remember, to help control the YouTube content, always flag very inappropriate material, and we'll see you next time. I had to vary. I have no idea why. Bye-bye, everybody.